The Arch of Constantine is a triumphal arch that was built in honor of Constantine the First victory over Maxentinius and the Battle of Milvian Bridge. The arch was built in Rome, situated between the Palatine Hill and the Colosseum. It was finished and dedicated in 315 CE and is now the largest surviving Roman triumphal arch. In ancient Rome, triumphal arches were built as monumental structures that often spanned a road to commemorate victorious generals and significant public events. Triumphal arches were built with one or more arch passageways crowned with a flat attic. The entire monument would be decorated with carvings, sculptures, and dedications. The Arch of Constantine's sculpture style is unique because it reused imperial reliefs from earlier monuments of the second century Roman emperors, Trajan, Hadrian, and Marcus Aurelius. As we take a look at the arch from top to bottom, the attic holds the main inscription translated to English, it states, to the Emperor Caesar Flavius Constantinus, the greatest, pious, and blessed Augustus, because he, inspired by the divine and by the greatness of his mind, has delivered the state from the tyrant and all of his followers at the same time. With his army and just force of arms, the Senate and people of Rome have dedicated this arch, decorated with triumphs. On the left and right of the dedication, there's a pair of panels, eight in total, which were taken from a monument that was from Marcus Aurelius. Each panel shows a different scene where the emperor is returning home to Rome, distributing money to his people, punishing a prisoner, and speaking to his army. The main section of the Arch of Constantine is decorated with a round with round reliefs taken from a Hadrian monument, showing hunting and sacrificing scenes where the original Hadrian head has been recarved to look like Constantine. The main piece holds a frieze that wasn't taken from an older monument that was created to show the story of Constantine's battle with Maxentinius which was the reason for constructing the Arch of Constantine. The relief frieze runs round, around the entire monument, portraying Constantine and his armies travel to victory at the Battle of Milvian Bridge. The Arch of Constantine is The Arch of Constantine is both typical and innovative of its time. It is typical of its time because triumphal arches are one of the most distinctive types of arch architecture that date back to ancient Rome. The Arch of Constantine was not the first triumphal arch to be built. It was a monument that copied the structure of older triumphal arches such as the Arch of Trajan, Arch of Augustus, and the Arch of Hadrian. However, the Arch of Constantine is also innovative of its time because Constantine had reliefs taken from older monuments and incorporated them into his archway. It portrays the artistic style changes of his time period in contrast to the classical style of the art stolen from the other monuments. Previous triumphal arches, such as the Arch of Trajan, were built and decorated with the artistic style of their own time period. Constantine made his triumphal arch with great importance. Not only did it celebrate his victory over another Roman emperor, Maxentinius, but it portrayed a greater meaning with all the imagery taken from the golden times of the Roman Empire. The arch of Constantine placed Constantine next to the great emperors that had passed and promoted him as a victorious.